to start rolling? Are they going to start getting hot, Rick? Seven and a half back. They get a three-game win streak going. It's not inconceivable. That's all I'm going to say. It's not impossible. Unfortunately, our boy Cave is still playing a lot. Uh, I actually like Mitch Carver. He threw us a foul ball in that one game, but his defense still could pick it up a little bit. Uh-huh. Yeah, they got the they got the Red Sox in Boston for a series. Mm-hmm. Tough place to play. MLB's best record. Yeah. yeah, we'll see. We got Irv going. Irv's back though, so that's other big Irv's news. Back. In case you haven't been watching, Irv pitch. I think it was yesterday. So yesterday. Yep. It's good news. And also, Kyle Gibson. I talked about this thing three weeks on the pod. Apparently, in a little bit of trade rumors. So you heard it here first on the flow. We were all over that story. So that was kind of fun. I liked you. Yeah. Apparently. The Brewers are trying to get a package, perhaps, with Dozier and Gibson for something. And I don't know what they would give us back. A well, little bit I know, of portal. Yeah, they uh, – I'm drawing a blank. Who's the new the new young pitcher they got now? Um, for they, the – oh, for Freddie the Brewers. Brown, yeah. No, Freddie no, no. The, uh, he's a reliever. He's a reliever guy. A new young guy for the Brewers? A reliever? Yeah. Oh, man. This is this is really bad. But anyway, that, that, that was um, part of the talk on why – they did not want uh, to trade Machado to, to, or to yeah. make the trade with Machado because they wanted this young pitcher for the Brewers. Are you I'm talking lost. about Jeffers or Hader or Knable or Jennings? No, no, there's a new guy. Williams, Barnes, Burns, Lopez? No. Nope. Okay, yep, I'm lost. Can't help you. Sorry. Yeah. We're not Brewers fans here, though, oh. so it's okay. No, we're not. Um. I'm looking at their prospect list now too. Yeah, I don't I don't know who that you're talking about. That's right though. Um, that's baseball. NHL, just a little quick snippet. Zucker, five years, twenty seven point five million. So Jason and Carly will be staying in Minnesota. Zucks a career year, thirty three genos, thirty one to six, sixty three points, all career highs, nine power play goals. And then Matt Dumbo, who likes to have a little bit of fun, and that's why we like him on this podcast. He's a flow guy. Five years, thirty mil. Big contract for a defenseman. He had a 50-point season, 14 Genos, 36 Apples, all career highs again, two power play goals, and 136 hits for a man that I think is just around six feet tall. So the Wild get yet a, a couple more guys that we're paying just about 4 to $5 million to. So a roster that's heavily loaded with, you know, some High players contracts. that. Yeah, I know. It's just kind of yeah. a weird team. Yeah, good for them. Oh, uh, the Brewers pitcher Corbin Burns, young guy, oh. throws upper nineties. Yeah, so actually Corbin, good kill, guy, killing okay. it right now. Nine Ks sense. and, and seven innings pitched. Sorry to go off the NHL beat, but yeah, I, it was interesting because after the NHL season ended, everyone's like, "All right, well, what does Minnesota do? Do they blow it all up now?" But they're actually um, keeping two of their you know more interesting. I mean, young talents, right? Dumba's. Yeah. Still got a lot of hockey left in them. And yep, former yeah, Zucker first round is pick for the boys. Putting his name on the map. Yeah. Yeah, no, good. Yeah, no, we're we're basically gonna be running it back for the seventh year now. So we'll see <laughs> uh we'll see what the wild can do this year. Hopefully the Hawks uh put up a little nice little stink bomb again and give us a chance. So we'll see where that goes. Yeah. God, we haven't talked Hawks in a while. Maybe next week, but last but certainly not least, one thought, Rick. <laughs> I just looked at yours. Please elaborate. I'm going to like this one. <laughs> yeah, so if you're watching the Twins game last night, or if you were just scrolling on Twitter at some point throughout the night, you probably saw a clip of Max Kepler embarrassing himself out in right field. High ball hit off the top wall in right field in Toronto. First of all, he plays it so bad. He runs up oh to the wall God. and watches it like a little leaguer. It hits off the wall and run and skirts into right field about you know, 15 yards, 20 yards. He runs to pick it up, throws it, and falls. It's just a bad play in baseball. Uh, if you haven't seen it, go watch it. It's pretty funny. Max Kepler's oh, a good outfielder. He's made unbelievable plays, but I, I don't know what he was thinking there. Oh, no, I'm with you 100%. And I'm sure I didn't watch ESPN last night, but it, it's it's obviously going to be a not top 10 plays, and it's it's about to be gifable and memeable very soon. I mean, this is this is a all vi- – and he tripped over his shoelaces or something. I mean, it was just – oh, man. I mean, it doesn't get much worse than this play. Yeah, if you haven't seen it, go just Google Max Kepler, and I'm sure it'll be right there. So, yeah, embarrassing moment for our boy from Germany, but, you know, they have a good soccer team, so you can lean on that a little bit, I suppose. My one thought this week, I have two. 
first of all, Rick, have you have you do you follow Carl Anthony Towns on Twitter? Have you seen what he's been posting lately? I do follow him, but no, I haven't seen. Um, I, I saw something about posting about his enemies sleeping. Well, is, yeah. Is so, le- so, so here are his uh, five tweets. So yesterday, <laughs> July twenty fourth, he said, "Quote: Let your value speak for itself." Okay, I mean that's just that's you're just kind of in your own head, but sure. And then twenty hours ago, never interrupt your enemy when he is making a mistake. This could be this could be like thirty different things. Is he talking about? Is he just late to the party? On the Kawhi DeRozan trade, is he talking about what you had earlier, I think, in this slot with CJ McCollum and KD going back and forth on the podcast and then on Twitter? Or is he talking, like, is he having girl problems or something? I don't know what's going on with Kat. Or is he talking about Wiggins and Jimmy or... Exactly! What is he doing? And Tom Thibodeau, yeah. And then 14 hours ago, he goes, time tells all. No idea what that's referencing. And then seven hours ago, he goes, it's lit, in all caps, with a flame. So, Carl... He's in his feels. My God, yeah, he's feeling himself. He's doing so. I don't know what his game's about, but he is... Yeah. He's he's on a bender. He's on a Twitter bender right now, and I just I just want him to gracefully get off. That's all I ask. Could be talking about Fortnite too with the enemies reference because oh. you know he's he's a big Fortnite guy. You know what I mean? Also, his background picture is Muhammad Ali, so that's just a little tidbit there, little uh, inspiration for our boy Carl. Four hundred and twenty-five thousand followers, not bad for. Uh, for an all NBA guy, I think that's more than the uh, San Diego Padres Twitter. I would, I would assume so. Pa- I'm pretty Although sure. San, Di- San Diego, great area. If you've never been there, you you need to get there. It's one of my favorite spots in the universe. Well, Rick, you know that's episode 16, man. Pretty pretty good episode here. Yeah, good episode indeed. Yeah, San Diego Padres only 381 thousand followers. So cat oh, is bigger than the city of San Diego. Good for cat. Good for the flow. Taking over the world. Rick, I'll see you in about seven hours when you drive back to uh, good old Minnesota. Yeah, probably going to pick up a sub tea for the road. Need that. God. Sub tea, delectable sandwich shop in Chicago. Folks, big news coming next week. We got some big stuff in the works. I'm, I'm not going to jinx it, but next week, expect a big announcement from the flow. Rick, thanks a lot, man. I'll see you later. Ricky Plamo at Needmo Pimo. Wonderful guy. Great host as well. Big thank you to Brandon Morton, our online engineer and producer. And a thank you to you all as well, the listeners. Thank you for joining us on The Flow this week, next week. Might have a live show from somewhere, too. We'll see a lot of stuff up in the air, but an exciting time for Talk North Podcast Network. Until then, my name is Alex Zapp, and thank you for catching The Flow. The Flow.